everyone. I'm here with Chet at Intel, uh, General Manager for IoT. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. All right. So we were talking about uh, artificial intelligence and how does uh, Intel help small to mid-sized company take the first step in that direction and uh, would it offer us a competitive advantage uh, should a small to mid-sized company? I heard a statistic there's 16% of the companies that are adopting that AI. Yeah. Is there a particular vertical that, that they yeah. should address? Yeah. Well, obviously, I with industrial, we see a lot of capability inside the factory. Uh, a lot of solutions start with data, right? It starts with data, it starts with understanding that data and turning that into insights, and then ultimately decision making. And in the factory, that's the easiest way to start to get from where you are at Industrial 3.0 to Industrial 4.0. And a lot of companies are looking for to be nimble here, and small companies to come in and give them capability. So what we look at is enabling the entire environment. And the way we do that is a couple of ways. One, first, with the silicon processing itself. And within the embedded silicon, we have elements and features like memory enhancement, like with Optane, with 3D cross point, that sort of increase the amount of capability and data adjustment that you have. Then the next area is really on, on top of that, on the software stack, where you start to look at the middleware and things like data management, data ingestion, various protocol support, and then of course, analytics and algorithm and edge inputs and things that we can do there. This allows us to help people to get the data, get it in the right area, be able to manage it very effectively, and then apply whatever analytics or solutions they would like to do on top. So it helps whether you're small or large, be able to bring that element of insight. Now, as far as artificial intelligence and things like that, you can then bring that inferencing or those learnings into those algorithms as well at the edge so that you're constantly learning, say, on a visual system or a non-visual system, and you're bringing in those algorithms and you can easily make changes to those. So that's what we want to do. It helps enable the environment to get to those IoT solutions through capabilities that we offer, like OpenPino, like Optane, 3D Crosspoint, and all those things. Thank you. So, so just a quick clarification. Uh, I'm a small startup. I'm based in Cleveland, Ohio. Half of U.S. manufacturing is within a half a day worth of drive. Yeah. Uh, what are some of the things? How did they get started with Intel? So um, we we put a lot of our capability into the open source community. So first off, I would say definitely get engaged with the developer community and the open source environment, whichever area best fits uh, for the segment or for the technology. But that's a great way to get those things. They're accessible, and you can get them with the click of a button. They're optimized on Intel hardware, so if you, even if you're doing your own hardware or you're working with a small ODM, all those things can be done really relatively easy through our developer community. And then it's a matter of bringing your solution together. Another thing we do is whether big or small, we offer marketing and sales support via our Market Ready Solution campaign. So this allows whoever you are, if you have a validated custom or, or specific solution for a segment, we can bring that and give a market ready solution that's validated with Intel. It tells users that Intel stands behind it. It tells them that it's ready to be deployed in your factory. And so that's a great way to get started, whether you're big or small. Thank you very much. So one last question. Is there one industry that's uh, that more advanced, uh, if there was one industry, which one is more advanced on this AI path? Well, I think um, in terms of verticals within industrial, like Correct. food and beverage or automotive. Okay. Great clarification. Thank yeah, you. yeah. Uh, so within the industrial environment, within Insights, we're seeing a lot of manufacturing deployments on vision for quality control. We're also seeing it a lot in logistics areas. So most manufacturers have some element of warehousing or they're dealing with someone like a DHL or shipping or someone like that. And in warehousing, you can also see an element of where you need insights and uh, all to expose where your products are in the supply chain. So it's both quality control and sort of exposure and understanding of where things are that are really big areas of verticals that we uh, Thank you very much and stay tuned as we follow the progress of AI. I don't think there was one section of the booth that I did not see uh, some form of AI uh, within the Intel here ahead of a message. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks so much.